Are we more corrupt in politics than we ever were? Or are we just watching it more closely and it's being uncovered more? I mean, you think about some of the stuff that probably happened back in the day that nobody knew about. I mean, Jim Black, what happened with him? I mean, a lot of that was brought about, some of it by citizen journalists, what you, you know, what you want to call it. A lot of that was brought up by that. So there's an instance where, you know, that was needed. I mean, some of the work that the Carolina Journal does, for instance, that's stuff that we, we just, I mean, I told you, it's me and a producer and a reporter. We can't do that all the time. WRL, which is another, obviously, very strong force in politics in the state coverage, they have two political reporters full time. Some of the other reporters do it, and then they have Tyler Dukes now, who used to be at News 14, actually, who's a public records reporter. But that's still three, four people. I mean, uh, the News Observer used to have a significant staff. You go down to the Capitol Press Corps, it's actually a little bit bigger now, but that's because of the controversy that people are coming in. But it used, you could drop a coin in that room, you hear an echo just a few years ago. So things have changed differently, and I, I, actually, I actually believe that's why things like the Carolina Journal and NC Policy Watch are vital. I use them on a daily basis. I'll even just call to, to try to get where they're coming from, try to understand an issue better. So I think that's vital. The, 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 the blogs out there, the citizen journalism is, is fascinating to me. I'm still learning a lot about it. Um, but the whole issue goes back to who do you trust?